The Federal High Court in Lagos has ordered the interim forfeiture of assets valued at 2.6 billion naira linked to former Petroleum Minister Dezani Alison Madweke. The EFCC is alleging that the assets which were seized from different states across the country are the proceeds of corruption. In the documents put before the court, the EFCC says that it received an intelligence report in 2016 against one Donald Chidi Amambo and the former Petroleum Minister. The commission then conducted a search warrant at the premises and offices of Mr. Amambo and recovered an updated report titled Highly Confidential Attorney Work Product, August Report, end of quote. The report allegedly contains a list of 18 companies and several properties located in the United Kingdom, Nigeria and the USA. The EFCC claims that during the course of investigations, Mr. Amangbo claimed that the registered 18 companies to assist Mrs. Dezani Alison Madweke in holding titles of certain properties. The properties are listed as 21 mixed housing units comprising eight terrace units of four bedrooms each, six three-bedroom apartments and another property located at Thorburn Street in the Lagos. The EFCC listed all four companies as respondents alongside the former Petroleum Minister and her acquaintance, Mr. Donald Amambo. The head of legal of the EFCC's Lagos office, Mr. Ansel Mozioko, also told the court that some documents from a commercial bank in the country confirmed that payments for all the properties were at the instance of Mrs. Alison Madweke. The agency was able to convince the trial judge, Justice Abdul Zazik Anka, to grant their plea for an interim forfeiture of the assets. On August the 7th, the Federal High Court in Lagos ordered the final forfeiture of a property on Banana Island, Lagos, allegedly acquired by the former Petroleum Minister, valued at $37.5 million. Beg your pardon. The court also ordered the sums of $2.7 million and $84 million naira realized as rents on the property be equally forfeited to the federal government.